All right, welcome back. Thank you for hanging out. Mr. Credit here, guaranteeing to make you smarter than everyone else. Not because of me, it's because of the people I bring on the show. You can tell. Can you tell my attorney knows what he's talking about, Gary? Oh, my gosh, he does. Yeah, doesn't he? Yes. Great attorney, Jared Codler, who just joined us. He's now he's now out of here. So, Jared, we'll say bye to you. See you later, buddy. Bye, Jared. <laughs> Uh, Gary Kent, good friend of mine for a long time from GaryKent.com. You're, you're the agent that people see everywhere. In fact, I don't know if she told you or not, but the receptionist, uh, I said, you know, I walked out there to see if you were there. And I said, uh, oh, my guest isn't here yet. She goes, well, who is it? What's his name? I said, Gary Kent. She goes, oh, that's that guy I see on the bus benches and stuff all over the place. I was like, yes, he's the agent you see everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. And, yes. And I said, well, you should tell him when you see him. But she, I don't think she... She did not. She didn't say anything. Okay. Well, you came in today. You're going to share some secrets with us, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So you But didn't... don't tell anybody else. Okay. I won't tell anyone. I promise. <laughs> I won't say a word. Okay. <laughs> this isn't being broadcast, is it? No, no. This is all just for show. Okay. Um, so you did a recent seminar, 22 Secrets to Get the Most Money When You Sell Your Home. You share some secrets with regard to that. You also have a free offer that you're doing now. Uh, called a, a smart seller report, which we're going to talk about as well. So I want to talk about how those things kind of work in together. And we're going to do a live email. We have one from Jason, uh, which we'll get to. Jason, we'll get to this one on the air today. Really good question and kind of will set the table for a discussion I want to have with Gary about what's the types of contact I've been getting from people lately. So, Gary, let's start with uh, your seminar and the secrets you want to share today. Yes. Okay. Well, I've got a poopery of secrets to share. <laughs> um, and... Uh, I'll just start with the first one, and that is um, many people will uh, talk to several agents before they sell their home, which is a good idea. And I think the number one thing that people should say to an agent, to all the agents they talk to, is I'm not choosing an agent based on price. So tell me honestly what my home will sell for, because many agents will, uh, let's say, be a little too optimistic on the price in order to get the seller to like them and choose them. That unfortunately happens all the time. Really? Yes. So you mean that someone might might say, "Oh yeah, no, I could sell it for six hundred thousand, not five hundred thousand. I, I have a buyer in the in the car waiting to buy this place for six hundred thousand. That happens. Happens all the time. Okay. Well, I mean, that's really difficult for a, a typical consumer to try to combat, though. I mean, you know, they they want to believe that the home. They probably think the home is worth six hundred thousand in that case. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. I mean. Most people, not everybody, but most people have a bit of an inflated idea of what their home is worth. So when an agent comes in and tells them that number or something higher, because really what an agent should should do is say, see, based on this information, these homes that have sold and comparing them to yours, it comes up with this. We come up with this value versus like, hey, we'll get you 600,000. Yeah. OK, so ask for <laughs> um you know, that, or tell whoever you're interviewing that you're not making a decision based on price. Right. And then maybe when you do start talk, to talk about price, because you're probably going to talk about that at some point, look for actual justification. Yeah, some data. Okay, look yeah. for data, not just a number pulled out of the hat that sounds inflated, because that's probably not the person you want to work with. Correct. Okay, great. Good stuff. It's Gary Kent in the studio today from GaryKent.com, the agent you see everywhere. He's sharing some of his secrets with us today on how you can sell your home for the most money. What else you got, Gary? Okay, um, something else that kind of ties into something you mentioned, which is if you have any financial trouble, tell your agent, because particularly when we had some extra rough times in 07, 08, 09, 10, et cetera, um, I would have a client now and then that would tell me that they were having financial trouble, and maybe they didn't have a foreclosure notice, so I wasn't aware of it, and then suddenly we have a foreclosure notice, and if I had been aware, then I would have counseled them a little bit differently, perhaps how to price their home uh, a little bit more attractively so it would sell sooner. So it's really important if you have something like that going on, if you trust your agent, to tell them. Now, if you don't trust your agent, why did you hire them? Yeah, there you go. Well, maybe sometimes people find out they don't trust their agent after they've used them. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Good happens. point. Yes. So what you're saying is, and this is, this is great advice, and it sounds basic, um, and it is, but that's the beauty in it. If you're in a situation where you have trouble with your real estate, you do need some counsel. Yes. Um, and, and because here's the thing, it gets very complicated very quickly. And in fact, the, the email that we're going to uh, read in just a little bit is a perfect example of that, that when it comes to your real estate, and the reason why we talk about it a lot on this show is because it's important. It's really important. If you make a real estate mistake, you can get absolutely hammered by it. Yes. If you make a great real estate decision, you can come out smelling like a rose. <laughs> Can I get one of those buttons? You can have one of those. Thank you. <laughs> and that's what we're looking to do here. So 
I like the idea of being, you know, forthright and saying, hey, if I've got a distress situation, I'm going to go to my agent. I'm going to call Gary Kent. I'm going to go to GaryKent.com. I'm going to reach out and say, hey, here is, here's what I got, Gary. The house you sold me, we love it, but here's our circumstance. How can you help us keep the house? Or if we need to sell the house, what's the best way to go about it? That is a really, really good piece of advice. I know you've got more secrets, though, for us, Gary. I do. I do. Okay. Another another random one is the idea of getting a pre-sale home inspection. Because when you sell your home, almost every buyer is going to pay a home inspector. Uh, and it's going to be in the 400 ish dollar range. And it can be a good idea to get your own inspection in advance. Now, people will, will say, well, why should I pay for one when the buyer is going to get one? But there are some benefits. One is that... Uh, you will be the client of the home inspector, and you can have an in-depth conversation with them of whatever they find, like really is it a problem. Uh, you can get estimates for repairs without any time pressure. You'll know in advance what the costs are going to be. Uh, and if you fix some of the things, you know, perhaps you can brag about them like uh, you know, a new roof. Hopefully you don't have to put that on. And also buyers feel a little bit more secure if you lay out an inspection report on the counter and say, here, I had my home inspected. Yeah, yeah, I, I really like that idea. In fact, I can tell you right now, that's a good piece of advice because what, what you said about being the client of the inspector. See, if a home buyer hires an inspector, the inspector is going in there to pick your part, of, your home apart and basically show the buyer that they're protecting their interests and find every little thing that's wrong and almost present it in a bad light. I mean, not exactly, but they're, they're really trying to work the buyer to help give them some you know, leverage in the negotiation potentially. If you hire the home inspector as the homeowner, now they're there to help you find the things that are wrong and show you how to fix them. And that's a totally different situation than if you know, you've got someone in there who's got it for you. I like that a lot. Let me ask you a question, Gary, dovetailing that. Yes. Should a home seller get an appraisal of their home before the buyer gets the appraisal? I would actually say no, that I don't think it's worth the money because – you know, an appraisal is going to be three, four hundred dollars, and people will say, "Well, I want to know what my home is worth." But an appraisal is just another person's opinion. A good real estate agent will give you an opinion that if they, you know, if they know what they're doing and they know the area, perhaps even dare I say, more accurate than what an appraiser comes up with. <laughs> By the way, if any appraisers are listening, please forgive me for there saying there are that. several appraisers who listen, but it's okay. Don't worry. Is there a time delay? We can. We can mix <laughs> There's that. nothing we can do now. Okay. It's all over. <laughs> But here's what we can do, because Gary has what he calls the Smart Seller Report. And this is something that you can get for free no matter where you live in San Diego County. This is Gary Kenny's everywhere. So no matter where you live, you can get a Smart Seller Report for free. Stick around. I'll tell you exactly how. When we come back, we'll make you smarter than everyone else. Guaranteed. All right. Welcome back. Appreciate you hanging out. Mr. Credit here. We're streaming live. MrCredit.tv takes you right to the live stream page. You can see me. And that's Gary Kent from GaryKent.com, the agent you see everywhere here in San Diego. Uh, Gary, the Smart Seller Report. Um, I've thought that something like this needs to exist for quite some time. You've created it. Tell us what it is and how it works. Okay. Uh, it's a report that has a lot of information about your home, uh, including it has something called an AVM. That's an automated valuation model price. I will tell you that is not as accurate as a good real estate agent's opinion, but it is more accurate than certain websites out there, some that begin with a Z, <laughs> maybe other letters. It's really uh, supposedly the best AVM or best pricing model available you can get. Uh, okay, so we'll tell you the, an estimated value of your home. Uh, what type of uh, market data is included in there? Is it neighborhood specific? Is it you know zip code specific? Or uh, what other stuff do I get in the smart seller? Um, well, in the report, uh, with the automated valuation, uh, you also get the change in the last month and the last 12 months. So if you're curious, like, well, has the value of my house gone up or down, uh, that will be in there. And then there's a lot of facts about your home, the square footage, which I found most people don't know the square footage of their home. That's true. Yeah. So it'll have that, the year built, and the zoning. Yes. So you can get out a ruler, and you can do some math. Yeah. Or you can get the smart seller report. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good call. <laughs> Well, I've, I've always found that to be funny because I've ta I talk to a lot of people and I try to help people figure things out as much as I can on my own before I pass them on to other people, professionals like yourself, for example. And uh, I ask a lot of questions like, what's your interest rate? Uh, how much do you owe on the house uh, or on the first mortgage, the second mortgage? And if we're trying to figure out what something's worth, you know, 
huts the square footage. And most people don't know, and I get it. There's a lot of things to remember. You've got a lot of usernames and passwords. You have a lot of numbers in your life these days. So I get it. Uh, so the Smart Seller Report not only gives you the value of the square footage, but it also shows you the trend. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it shows it also has an eight-year trend. Not sure why it's an eight-year trend, but it's an eight-year trend uh, for what your home's value has done, what your zip code has done, what the county has done, and what the state has done. And it's this is especially great if you like stats. Okay. I'll just mention that. Lots of stats in here. So if you really want to do some research uh, on kind of what's going on with your home. Now, is this – you call it the Smart Seller Report, and obviously if someone wanted to be a smart seller, they would want to do this much research. No question about it. They would right. want to have this data. But if someone, let's say, was – just a homeowner who wanted to be informed and stay informed about what was going on with their property. Maybe they're not a home seller today, but maybe they are two, three, four, five years from now. Is this also good data for someone like that to, to get into? It is. It is. Yeah, people should know about their home. Yeah, I think so too, especially if it's a situation where, you know, there are a lot of folks who say, well, this is our dream home. You know, they'll carry me out here in a pine box type thing. Heard that a lot. Right? I, I get that. And if that's the case, hey, maybe it d- may never matter what your home is worth or anything like that because you're going to stay there forever. You're going to pay it off. Hey, great. If you're not that person, then this is the type of information that you want to be privy to, especially if you're in a situation where you're considering selling your home. You want to see what the trends are doing, what's happening. Right. Value's going up, value's going down. Um, what does the, is the home worth? What is the actual square footage? Um, you know, all the stats that come along with the Smart Seller Report make a lot of sense for really any homeowner. Uh, how do we get the Smart Seller Report, Gary? How, if I'm listening right now, I want to get one of these reports on my home so I can see what's going on. How do I get it? Uh, all they have to do is call me uh, or email me. My number is 858-457-KENT, or they can email me, Gary at GaryKent.com. That's too easy. Gary at GaryKent.com or 858-457-KENT. All right, here's what I want to do, because I want to I want to talk about the smart seller report again. But I think we've got someone here who might actually need a smart seller report, and I don't know. He, you know, it's been so strange, Gary. The last two weeks, I've gotten so many contacts about short sales, um, debt issues, bankruptcy, uh, credit repair, so much more than a normal two week period that I feel like something is going on. Hmm. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but here, here's an email we got today. Um, this one is from Jerry. Jerry writes in, hello, I'm a fan of the show. I was hoping for some information about a short sale. My wife and I live in San Diego, and we would like to get out of our condo because we are struggling to make payments and are upside down. It is our only home, and we are concerned about a big tax bill in the end if we did a short sale. We've talked with several people and have gotten several different answers. I was wondering if you could recommend somebody that could advise us on our tax question. Thank you, and I look forward to hearing back from you. Um, well, Jerry, here's the thing. And I don't know. I mean, Gary, you, you can tell me. You know, you've done tons of short sales. I mean, you were doing short sales the last cycle in the early 90s. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've seen letters on the wall in your office from homeowners who had said, hey, I did a short sale. Thank you so much. You were you're so great. I didn't even know I could do this. And it's dated like June 1992. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Yes. I've seen those testimonial letters in your office. So. From a short sale perspective, I mean, it was a lot easier to do short sales this time around. I think people knew what they were. It kind of was like, you know, all right, it was understood, and there's there's tax relief and all this stuff uh, that was kind of gifted to folks. But that's expired from the federal side, as far as I know, the end of 2013. Have you heard of anyone doing a short sale, coming back and going, man, I got a huge tax bill this year? Uh, you know, I haven't heard that, but there is some – Somewhat breaking news, and I, I don't have the, all the details, nor am I a qualified tax advisor or an unqualified tax advisor, um, but the IRS issued a letter to the, um, I think, to the California Association of Realtors. Anyway, the, the California Association of Realtors is the group that put this out, that based on a change to California law, many people who thought they would owe taxes on a short sale will not owe the taxes. Now, I'm not smart enough to give you all the details and explain it. Uh, but I do have that information. In fact, I'm going to reread that email later. Yeah, yeah. No, I would love to get that from you because if that's true, wow, does that really help a lot of the people I've been hearing from the last two weeks, uh, because especially, you know, Jerry here who's emailed us. I mean, if, if he has no tax consequence, it sounds like he's ready to be done with this thing. He can't afford it. You know, it's, it's starting to hurt them. Right. If there's a, a way to get out of that clean, scot-free, and not have to worry about taxes on the other end of it, 
then that is going to be a huge relief for a lot of people. So um, I would love to find out more about that, Gary. If you can find that and I will shoot it over to me. Will do. And then we'll bring it back to the show. But that is the best news I've heard in a long time if they did it. So uh, the IRS made a special provision just for the state of California? Right. It's because of a change in California law. It, it's It's complicated. But they said, well, since you made this change, therefore we don't tax it based on our tax law. So... Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I will, I'm looking forward to the details of that. But, uh, Jerry, we'll get you connected with – first of all, what I'll do is I'll connect you with a great CPA. I'll get you with Steve's CPA. I'll give you William McDonald's phone number just in case, just in case there's a situation where there's other debts or other issues that we need to deal with. And, of course, I'll connect you with Gary Kent as well. A smart seller report, something that everyone who owns a home who doesn't want to get carried out of a pine box in that home one day should have. Gary at GaryKent.com or call 858 858- Four five seven, Kent. Gary, thanks for coming in today, man. Hey, thank you. Yeah, great to have you again, and I hope to see you on the show again soon. That's it. That's all the time that we have for today on your lunch hour with Mr. Credit. Danny did a good job running the show today. We'll be back again tomorrow at noon to make you smarter than everyone else. Thanks for listening to the lunch hour with Mr. Credit.